Uh, Alright, so today's demonstrations, there are four of them, and they're all about decomposition reactions. Uh, decomposition is basically when one substance becomes many others, or at least two others. Uh, so the first one I've got to show you, by the way, the equations are all up there if you're well versed in chemistry. If you're not, you can still look at them and you might get some meaning out of them. Um, the first one I've got is ammonium dichromate. It's this orange substance in a bowl. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's pretty hazardous stuff. It's known to be a carcinogen, so that's why it's in the fume hood. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'll light the tip of it, and it will decompose in the manner described there, giving uh, chromium oxide, which is also fairly dangerous, uh, nitrogen, and some water which escapes the Did steam. Did you just tip it up and let us see what it looks like? Certainly. giving off fumes at the moment. So, you see it's a very bright orange colour, and it's crystalline. This is Hello. ammonium dichromate. <laughs> so, I'm going to wet the tip with something flammable. This is hexane. Just to get it started. see the flames anymore, but it's still going a little bit underneath that blanket. That green stuff is chromium-3 oxide. That's the first one. second one is a little substance I read about <coughs> and tried out a couple of days ago. Uh, it's called ammonium periodate, and it's stable up to temperatures of about 100 degrees, and at that point it immediately decomposes to give uh, nitrogen, water, iodine, and oxygen, all as gases. be a bit hard for you to see it, but there's a little tiny bit of white powder in there, and that's all I'm going to use, because this stuff gives off so much gases, it's, uh, it's quite an explosive reaction when it goes. So I should just heat it up in the uh, flame there, and it will go pop, and iodine is bright purple, so we will see that gas come off along with the others. <laughs> you see, all that's left is purple vapor which is now condensing on the sides as a solid. I'm glad the camera couldn't see me jump. <laughs> nitrogen triiodide. Uh, actually, if you want to be all technical about it, it's an ammonio complex of nitrogen triiodide. Um, and the good thing about this one is it's so unstable to decomposition, you can come out round the front if you need to, but you will see fine from over there. Um, it's so unstable to decomposition that tipping it with a feather might set it off. No, I've never actually tried it with a feather, but I've seen it done, so it is possible. If it doesn't work, I'll poke it with the end of the stick, and that will set it off. And I've, I have left this before uh, previously, and eventually it will just explode under its own weight. So it doesn't take very much to set it off. All right? And you'll see I've got two filter papers. Each of them has a little bit of this ammonium, uh, 
uh, nitrogen triiodide on it, and I'm going to set one of them off, and the noise from that will set off the other one. All right. Uh, I should warn you, this one is fairly loud. All right. So if you want your fingers in your ears, now would be a good time. A little bit higher. It's just at the wrong height. Oh, okay. Higher or lower? Put it a little bit lower, actually. That's yeah. all right. Yeah, that's good. Good. Okay. So if everyone's ready. Feather's not doing it. I've seen that done, but it didn't work that time. So I will use a poker instead. Are you ready now? <laughs> and you'll see quite a lot of purple gas again. That's one of my favorites there. Falling. Radioactive falling. There's no radioactive. <laughs> And the iodine, it, it's quite brightly coloured, so you can see it even when it's at low concentrations. Uh, so that's nitrogen triiodide. I wait for my ears to stop ringing. And the final demonstration for today is sometimes known as elephant toothpaste. Now, I plan to do this one on the floor because it's kind of messy. Um, I don't know if, can everyone see it if I put it on the floor over here? No, I can't. Would you like to come around this yeah, side then? Yeah, so far, yeah. all I've got in there is about 40 millilitres of dish detergent. Uh, and what I've got in here is what you guys would probably just call peroxide. It's actually hydrogen peroxide. And uh, usually when you buy it from the pharmacy, it would be about 3%. This is 30%. So it's a bit stronger. And uh, the equation, as I've indicated on the board, it, for hydrogen peroxide, <coughs> the formula for hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. So it's just like water, but it's got an extra oxygen in it. And it quite likes to get rid of that last oxygen. Uh, and a catalyst, like the catalysts that are, exist in your blood, will release that oxygen, and that's what that's what we use it for when we buy it from the pharmacy. Is it will clean a wound by releasing lots of little oxygen bubbles, which clean the wound. Um, exactly, that's the kind of thing. Uh, so I've got another catalyst over there. It's potassium iodide, and when I add that to the mixture of hydrogen peroxide and soap, there will be an awful lot of bubbles. And it comes out the top looking a little bit like giant toothpaste, hence elephant toothpaste. Leaving that on a radiator would be a bad idea. Alright, so I've put that in there. Then nothing will happen at this stage. Give it a little swirl around. It's a beautiful colour, isn't it? Jungle juice. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully when I add this catalyst, you'll see an awful lot of uh, bubbles and steam. So when everyone's ready, this isn't as fast as I was expecting. It's still pretty good. Is your pocket big enough? <laughs> <laughs> Not even remotely. No. Don't worry, it's mostly just water. This is why I did them on the floor. I cleaned these ones up before. Is that hot? Yes, it does get very hot when it decomposes. Some of the gas that's given us probably steam from the water boiling. Can we take some foam all over us? <laughs> it won't last very long, it's just soap bubbles. There you go. Well, what some people like to do is put a little bit of red colouring down one side and blue colouring down the other side so it comes out striped. Like, Alright, so that's the last one I've got for you today. There'll be more in another couple of weeks.